Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clickable image map in SharePoint. Now, for those of you that have SharePoint modern pages, this probably is going to be challenging to do because in the classic pages, I think you were able to put some scripting in for your images to create a clickable image map, something like this, where if I click on a part of the image, it will open up a separate web page that takes me something, some, that takes me to a site. And if I click another part of an image, it takes me to another site or another location. But what SharePoint Modern Pages, I don't think that capability is there anymore if we had a clickable image map with hotspots. Now you might have to get an app from the SharePoint link here under the gear icon, but if you work for some enterprise organizations that kind of limit that, you're kind of stuck with other solutions. And this is actually a workaround that we can use to do that using other Microsoft products. So let's see how we can do this. Now I'm here in PowerPoint to see how we can implement putting a hyperlink into an image. So if we have the ability to kind of put in our own kind of hotspots for the image, and we already have an image here, for example, I have the FIFA image here. I just copy this and paste it here and I can just kind of resize this image. It's another element, right? It's another element within PowerPoint. And now I can just like right click and click on the link and I can put in a new link, right? So I forgot to copy that link here, so but I think it's www.fifa.com. And then click on that and now insert a link in that image. I can do the same thing for NFL. And I can use this and just upload it to SharePoint and it's gonna recognize that. But if you don't have the ability to have your own link there and maybe you have it where this is already set in there. So you can see here the FIFA text and the NFL logo here are already set within this image. If I move the image, it moves with it, right? It's all one image right now. And you just wanted to have that certain area be the hotspot. And then you couldn't do it really. There's no way for you to right click and link it because you're basically linking it for the whole image. So the other way to do that is to create a invisible outline for each of these images and attach the hyperlink to that. So what we can do is just go under shapes and just select any shape. I should select this uh, rectangle shape and I'm just gonna select it to cover that area. And within the shape, it goes to the default colors and I can just change that. I can say no outline and no shape fill, but that shape is still there. And then here I can attach a hyperlink to that. So I can do the right click or I can just do control K, which is opening up the hyperlink and add www.fifa.com press enter. So there is, a link that's associated with that shape, even though it's invisible. If I click outside of it, it's not there. You can't see it, but it's still there. Also, another good practice is if you've got a lot of these hotspots there is to name that shape. So when you go back and edit it, you'll know which one you need to edit. And so to get into that selection pane where you can give a name to that shape, I'll just go under where it says range, go to selection pane and that rectangle shape, I'm gonna call this one, I'll call this one link dash FIFA. So I know what it is. And I can do the same thing for this one. I'm gonna add a shape to there, or I can just take the shape, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and this is another shape, right? And instead of uh, FIFA, I'm gonna change all the wording, right? This is the same shape. I'll change this one to NFL, NFL, press enter, and also change the hyperlink here, Control K, which opens up the edit hyperlink dialog box, www.nfl.com, click OK. And now I've created my links there. So I've got my, I've got the naming of it. So later on, if I need to go edit and add more or change it, I know which one from the selection pane that I need to edit. So now I've got my links, right? This one's gonna go to, if I hover over it, this one goes to FIFA and this one goes to nfl.com. I'm gonna delete these other two here because I don't want those slides there. And all I need to do is save this and upload it to the SharePoint. So I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna upload it to the SharePoint site. Let's go back into SharePoint. So here I'm in the SharePoint site. I'm going to add the file viewer widget, click on that and then add the document, the PowerPoint. And Explorer will come up where I can choose it. Click on add file and we have it up here. So it's gonna take, this is a one column section, so it's gonna take up the whole uh, page in a way, but that's okay. Let's see if it took it, yep, it took it. Since I added this uh, particular page earlier, it's not saying published, but I'll go ahead and republish it. And once it gets republished, 
you can notice that it's an image that you can now click the hyperlinks. So I can click that, it'll take me to FIFA. If I go back and click on the NFL icon, it will take me to NFL. I can click back and it's kind of big. You notice that you get the signs that this is a PowerPoint file, right? So that's one of the disadvantages of using it this way, but that's the workaround. So we can create different hotspots within an image using PowerPoint, more of a hack or a workaround, but actually it kind of works. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.